to remove the blade from the clipper, press the release button underneath the blade. Then you can use a cloth to protect your fingers. You need to push on the teeth away from you and away from the head. This will make the blade stand up on the hinge and just slide off. To fit the blade back on, locate the gap on the blade, slide it over the hinge. On the back of the cutter of the blade, this black part, you'll see a little indentation where the little white motor arm fits into. The blade needs to slap back securely onto the clipper. If it doesn't, this blade may not be quite aligned properly. You can manually push this blade by just moving it with your fingers to make sure that it's aligned with the little white lever arm. When it is, push the blade firmly back. Again, you can use a cloth to protect your fingers until you hear a good sharp snap. When you run the clipper, you'll know if the blade is on properly because it'll have a nice smooth sound. A perhaps easier way to fit the blade onto the clipper is to run the clipper and snap it on. So make sure the clipper is switched off before you remove the blades. Again, pop an old cloth over the teeth, press the release button underneath and just push away from the handset. Sometimes the cutter might stop a bit further to the left or a bit further to the right of where the motor arm is in the center. If this is the case, Pop the blade over the hinge, run the clipper, and then push the blade back until you hear the firm snap. And the little white lever arm will naturally find its own way into the hole on the back of the cutter. You do need to be quite firm to make sure the blade fits securely onto the handset. You'll know when it's on properly because the sound will be smooth when you switch the clippers on and there's no movement once the blade is fixed on properly. There's no wiggle room at all. The fitting of the A5 blades on the MD Roma are the same as the A5 blades for the Pedigree Pro and Royale Master Clip Clippers, simply snapping on and off the handset. Press the release button underneath the blade. You may want to use a cloth just to protect your fingers to push on the teeth of the blade. This will then stand it up on the blade hinge and the blade simply slides off. To pop the blade back on, locate the gap at the bottom of the blade. This slides over the top of the blade hinge. The easiest way to snap them back on is to run the handset. This will get this little white motor arm to fit into the cutter on the back of the blade. You'll know when the blade is firmly into position as there'll be a good snap when it fits onto the clipper and the clipper will run smoothly and it won't sound rattly.